Hey guys, Weather Expert here, bringing you guys an awesome video on another weather update, a tropical update on a little bit more of a, a specific, not really a specific topic, but more of an Atlantic as a whole. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. I've been mostly focusing on one storm at a time, but there aren't real, there aren't any storms at this point. But there are areas to watch, and we should be watching because it's you know even though it's only a year, these peak of the seasons can and will act like pretty active ones. It only takes one, guys, and I'm not saying that one that there is one coming. I'm not saying that, and most likely it won't. But just take heed at anything you see because there is plenty of stuff that can change and I and don't account me for all this stuff. So really right now you can see that there's a lot of thunderstorm going across here. This is the monsoonal trough that gets it from the um, nice cool ocean air from down south um, with the dry hot heat, heat. And you get some thunderstorms go over here along this chain around 10 degrees right here. And you guys can see that there's storms is blowing up and right now the NHC has designated this area with a 60% chance of tropical cyclone formation in five days and most likely it'll head west and then north and that's what the GFS is doing and the CMC Europeans a little bit more you know even though it's the European and I know that it's not showing anything I still take these things because it is Africa and these things and the European can do absolutely terrible with these systems but when you get to like over here it actually does pretty well but yeah, since he has a 30% chance in the next 48 hours, not really going to develop, but it won't really develop, really, I think, until it gets over here, beyond here. And then it might start bombing out, which is what the GFS says. Now, you guys can see that the the wires over here, the wire is currently over is 28, 20, about 28, 20, no, 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 what am I doing? 28 degrees Celsius, and as it has, heads west, it'll encounter some 29 degree temperatures, and it'll, you know, eventually hit 28 degree uh, Celsius temperatures. But once it gets in here, it might get interesting because models are starting to do this and curving it back towards the Azores. Of course, when it gets towards the Azores, they can, they can think this cold water because you need 27 degree probably Celsius water to sustain a major hurricane. And this thing, I can't, I'm not saying it's going to become a major hurricane. I'm just saying that it could become a storm we need to watch for the Azores. This depends on the steering because GFS takes it like this. And I'll show you guys GFS in just a second. Let's go to our map details. Let's go to Wind Alert, the best product to get wind stream graphics about the whole entire world. And I think it's better than Null School, just because it just shows more dynamics in this. So you guys can see the nice cool air from the. Um, you guys can see the nice cool uh, pool of um, water just creating a nice surge of um, moisture from the equator, and then you get the the humid air, and then you get the dry, dusty air that actually kind of converges, and you get thunderstorms develop. And when you, as long as it stays along the boundary, then it has a chance to develop. But once it gets off that boundary, it lives on its own. It's got to survive in the environment. Saharan air layer, you know, it's it's kind of strong, but not too strong. But uh, right now, we don't see evidence of vorticity. I don't think this thing will develop until you get four to five days out, probably. Now, let's see. Let's go to our model. Now, oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> Uh, you guys did not see that. All right, so we have our system right here. It's kind of you know disorganized. There's a ton of low pressure systems. We get over here. It kind of starts to consolidate around 18 hours. We had a 60 hour. It, kinda, it develops it. I think it has th two to f at the minimum two day at the minimum um, three days I think before it develops. And then I'll, and three to five days I think it has a chance to build. Kind of gets over here, moves north into this nice warm pool of of wind shear that really doesn't show. If I show the wind shear, I can. Right here, it does look like a lot of shear, but the G I don't get this. It's so weird. The GFS shows a crap ton of shear. It doesn't even do anything to it. And then it starts bombing out. I want to see the shear and how it's interacting. This thing could have an error. This looks like an error or something because why would it show a thousand three millibar right, right into that um, wind shear? Why would it be strengthening? That's a big question. Um, but we just gotta watch these systems because they can. Because in in le recent years these systems bomb out much more north than they don't really bomb out over here unless you count Danny and then we start getting over and then we start having a huge storm like major hurricane status I do think that around here around this line that it should start weakening if it, if this does happen and recurves it and kind of brisk and just brushes it and then we have our next potential storm right here. And then we got, uh, of course, we have maybe I don't even know how to pronounce the name, guys. And my my voice that might sound weird just because, um, just because I have a stuffy nose a little bit, and I'm a little bit of sore throat. But here's another graphic. This is the best product you can get. GR Earth and GR Level Three are the best weather products I've ever had. Rare Scope is mobile, but really, this product. Look at this. 
I mean, like, you can see this is a hurricane with about 70, 75, that's about a category. I'd say this would be a category 2 hurricane. And as we begin a time, we get a 222 hours, and you can tell that it's going to head to sea. Now, it takes a little while to develop. And you can see it starts weakening, but it starts bombing into an extra tropical system. And then we have our next system right here, guys. We have another system, and that's the system that I got to show you guys. I always put my gun in my mouth. Alright, so let's go to the visible satellite. Oh my gosh. Visible satellite for the East Atlantic. There we go. And it's just like pretty predominant wave that's showing. I mean look at this stuff. Look at look look what it's showing. I mean, this is a pretty strong wave for it's a pretty strong wave. Here's our system right here. Possibly gonna head north. This system has got a better chance of heading west because models don't really develop it until it gets over here. So plenty of time to watch this, but we know these models and sometimes they can fool us. Go to European. Um, let's go to European. So it's the exact same system, but a lot more north and a lot more with shear. Too close to the high pressure system kind of kills it. And of course, it starts bombing out over here. But then you might think this if this was a linear, this would become a major hurricane. No doubt about that. But yeah, guys, that's really going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I'll have more videos coming out soon. Um, I'll probably have at least, I'll have one tomorrow, maybe. Um, I don't, I can't promise because I'm recording my computer out in the living room. My parents are not home right now, so this is the only time I record. So I'll record when I have the chance. But yeah, guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.